The boot cow is final riveted. Hey, it's Steve. Welcome back to Clear Direct. This is not a full episode by any stretch. It's just kind of an update because I am in max AB full throttle trying to get this into paint at Cascade Customs and Design in <laughs> like three weeks. So, man, fitting up the boot cow was a, a challenge not in and of itself, but it was just getting everything else ready. So here we go. We I just finished up the firewall pass-through. A challenge is this bar right here. So you can see everything is just kind of, you know, a little bit of an angle. Um, nothing dangerous or bad about it, but sourcing this and getting the holes to fit right, I had to drill other holes in the stainless steel in this firewall pass-through kit. To get that final um, installed, was, it just took so much time, so much time. Well, the last note on this firewall pass-through kit was that this kit is is a full circle, right? It would have helped if there were two, two C-shapes, right? And then you could just you know, bolted in place with all the existing wiring. Well, since this was a full circle, I had to um, disassemble this. So this was already final kind of installed. It's the vertical power primary power system connector. And I had to pull, I think, 13 or 14 pins painstakingly out of this so that it could fit back through and I could final install that and feed it back through. And then other, the other challenge <clears throat> was the plasma, the light speed plasma electronic ignition has these two sensors. These would not fit through. So the only other option is fitting the other side of the cable through. So I disassembled the D sub connector on that and fit it back through. So uh, again, a couple unforced errors on my part, but I got back on track. I finished up all the wiring. I tidied it up inside of the boot cowl. And I also installed the NACA air vents here with some silicone. So that's a nice, nice installation there. And then uh, most everything is AVEX rivets, but there's a couple of spots where you don't want to use AVEX rivets where you've got some washers and spacers to get it just right. As well as, uh, this is the only tip I'll, I'll, I guess, offer is that this particular rivet right here, this, an AVEX rivet is not appropriate for right there. It was, there was barely any showing uh, underneath here. And we can see it. And so I swapped it out. I drilled it out for an AAPQ 43. So that I'm happy on both sides with that. But yeah, the underside is all done as well. Looking pretty good, feeling pretty good. This, this side doesn't fit just perfectly so i'm not sure i did edge form it but uh potentially i should have rolled it even more um so i don't know if we're just going to kind of fill that with some pro pro fill or whatnot but over to my painter on that um i'm done <laughs> with this section over here looks a little bit better don't look too close um i don't know if it looks good or, or not on camera and with the light the way it is but I think with the paint and everything, uh, any sort of imperfections will 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 go away. <laughs> Let me show you the um, the fun fan cover right here. See, fan works. I don't know if you can hear that, but I did want to interject here and talk avionics because it's me and I'm a nerd. Um, so Garmin updated the G3X software, and to do that, I've just got a Mac, and that was fine. The one thing I did learn is if you have a dual setup like this, you have to do your right display first, your MFD first, and then you do the PFD because, and then that will then send all the updates over the CAN bus to all your other LRUs, the magnetometer, the GSU 28s, the autopilots, um, and everything else that's on the CAN bus. The one thing I have that is not, believe it or not, on the CAN bus, is the GNX 375. So this guy right here, unfortunately, you have to have a Windows laptop or a Windows machine. So <laughs> Mac is okay for everything else, but GNX 375, you have to have Windows, Windows 10. So I went and bought a laptop. I had a lot, I borrowed a laptop to program the vertical power system. I figured I probably need one because I need to continually update the vertical power. It's the power distribution setup, um, fault detection and um, speeds for auto, uh, auto trim and all that good stuff. The wig wag speed, etc. So, um, so <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace for like 120 bucks, I found somebody selling an old Windows 10 laptop. <clears throat> so that worked out pretty well. 
and I was able to, I, I think the reason is that, you know, these are experimental. Um, pretty much everything in here is, um, has an experimental version. And so therefore they want it, you know, consumer, maybe prosumer, and a lot of consumers have Macs. Well, installers have Windows by and large. Okay, and so this is not experimental. You can still download it as, as an experimental customer, but this is a full TSO certified software. So they want you installing it with Windows. So just a quick note on that. The, some of the things that you gain, um, I haven't turned them on yet, but you can like, you can change the, you can like save panel space for your comm and like shrink that a little bit. Um, and I, I don't know, it's not in front of me and this isn't the point of the video. Maybe I'll make another video on the, on the Garmin uh, software updates, but I did want to interject a little bit on avionics because it's me and I'm a nerd. Pardon the interruption. I forgot something else. I installed a static port. All right. I wasn't a fan of putting it up here, which is where the plans say they just say to knock out a, a mandrel. It's nice and simple and light. This is a little bit more complex, more plumbing involved, but Yes, there's one on the other side as well. So I just wanted to show you this. This is the Dynon kit. I have all Garmin, but uh, they're all they're all um, Dynon. I ordered. I had to order a couple more of these suckers um, to connect right here. Actually, the AOA and pitot tubes coming from the wing um, to then go forward because these wings are going to come off. By the way, if you didn't realize that, these wings are coming off for paint. That's why. I have uh, just a mess of spaghetti hanging out of the wings because I don't want to take the time to terminate everything yet. If it can wait until after paint, it is waiting till after paint. And really that's the only thing I have left is cowling and windscreen. Okay, back to the video. So this turned out pretty good, I think. I, again, I designed it and had Send Cut Send cut that and they did a fantastic job. I just spray painted it with red. And then the plan is once I get the, the windscreen fit up, um, I will cover in cloth and then um, I'll remove the GPS antenna. So I installed a couple of nut plates here so that I could just use some Allen screws. I think they're number six Allen screws through the Garmin um, GPS antenna. And this is purely just backup and it's for the G5. So I think I'll just kind of tidy up these wires right now and then start fitting up the cowling. And the first step there is to put on the prop extension propeller and then start fitting up the spinner. But I am really hopeful that that goes a little bit more smooth than tidying up the inside of the boot cowl because I really have to get the windscreen set up in addition to the cowling before I um, put it into paint. Paint is three weeks away. I still haven't edited the Italy video where we have the final design. I'm sure you've seen it by now but I'm really excited to get it into paint. And then it's taking a couple of weeks off while it's in paint to spend time with the kiddos and summer and just kind of get back to enjoying life. But right now it is a full bore sprint. But I did want to just give you guys that update. I hope you guys are all well. I hope that's, uh, that satiates the appetite. Thank you again for pushing me over 10,000 subscribers. That's amazing. I do have some test t-shirts. You might've seen me wearing them. They're turning out pretty good. I just need to find some time, probably uh, when this goes into paint, to get them up so that you guys can, can buy merch if, if you'd like. But that is the update. Hey, thanks again for watching. Until next time, it's Steve here, Clear Direct.